the the EB3 uh, visa bulletin kind of retrogressed uh, for Indian applicants. And so what we had is we talked about what the the downgrade was that everyone did, I guess, last year from EB2 to EB3 and what that means and what the consequences are and how what what's going on right now, the madness that is Indian based perm processing or, you know, EB3. Sure. So, yeah, the November visa bulletin came out and it created, I think, even a little more anxiety for these individuals. So this is generally going to be a group of individuals that have been waiting to complete a green card process for 10 plus years. Yeah. And then in October 2020, um, the EB3 dates move forward to a point where they could file downgraded EB3 I-140 filings because their previous EB or I-140 would have been EB2 mm -hmm. and concurrently file 485 paperwork. So that was great in that they felt good about moving forward. They could actually get their I-485 paperwork filed and they were excited really to feel like they were moving along and actually finishing off yeah. that process. They have been waiting for more than a year to actually complete everything. So there are still many Indian nationals who didn't uh, obtain their green card approval within the last 12 months. And now the visa bulletin for November uh, 2021 shows EB3 retrogression, meaning that their EB2 dates are actually going to be more current than the EB3 dates. So now they're going to want to switch lanes again. Uh, try and do interfile request, see if they can get their green card process under EB2 rather than EB3. And like we were discussing, I always picture that, you know, a highway, a traffic jam, someone seeing, I think that lane's opening up. So everyone moves over at the same time. So that gets backlog and then they try and move back. And, and that's what's going on with EB3 and EB2 India.